Hi, and welcome to Lacey Bow's Boutique Ribbon Sculpture Tutorial. This is a special request tutorial from one of my subscribers. She asked how to make the tiny turtle that I use for my um, channel picture. So I'm going to show y'all how to do this. It's a little 3D turtle. It's sitting on an alligator clip. So, your supply list is here. This is what you're going to need. It's going to be all 3 8 inch grosgrain ribbon. And you're going to need four pieces that are three inches long each. Then you're going to need four pieces that are one and a half inches long. These are for the legs and to help speed up the tutorial I went ahead and made three of the legs. I'll show you how to make a leg with this but it is going to be four total pieces of one and a half inch long. Okay. Then you're going to need one piece that's two and a half inches long. You're going to need a little scrap for the tail and two Google eyes. Okay? So, let's make the shell first. Okay, I've got the stuff. So, and you're going to need a pair of tweezers just to help you pick up the Google eyes and to make the loop for the head. But right now we're going to make the shell. So, you're going to take your three inch pieces and if you're using a printed ribbon you're going to work with the print down okay because we're going to make it from the top up All right and you're going to need a source of fire to heat seal the edges you just take your lighter run it over the edges heat seal them so it doesn't fry i've already heat sealed all of these but you're going to have to do that with everything all the ribbons okay so you're also going to need a hot glue gun, scissors, measuring tape, and all that common stuff. So anyway, we take this right here, and I'm not going to crease it because I don't want it to show as a crease on top, but I do want to find the middle, so I'm just going to give it a light little tap right there to help me find the middle of it, and then I'm going to mark it with a pen. Since we're gluing something on top of it anyway, it's not really going to matter. But I just want to see the middle right there. I don't know if it's clear. I can't tell. I guess it is. Okay. So there's the center of that. You take another piece right here. And it doesn't matter if you crease these pieces now, you just don't want to crease that first one. You can crease these to find the centers of these. Always work with your print downward and just Put a little hot glue right there, and we're just making a big T with these. And you want to put it with the middle, right? Okay. The glue strands, and basically we're just going to be making a big star. We're going to glue one going this way, and one going back that way. Just fold it in half and find the middle. I already know where the middle is on these. A little bit of glue. Right across there like that. Last one. Okay, now made the big star. Okay, now you want to work with this last one that you just glued down. Okay, and we're going to turn this big star into a ball. So you just fold up your first one right here, just make a loop out of it. Just glue those little ends together, overlap them a little bit. See that? Just glue that. Now take your next layer that you glued on, and you don't want to pull them up and layer that one again because we're trying to make a ball, and you'll hurt it. You'll make it not quite right. 
So you can take and just push that down. Be sure not to crease these edges right here because we want it to puff back up. But you can push that down and just glue the next one. And you're not going to overlap the next one on top. We're just going to make the two ends meet on top of that one. So it's basically going to be just almost halfway. You glue that one in halfway. See, and it roughly sticks out about the same distance as that one does. Okay, handle it very gently. Make sure you don't give any creases here or here or here. We always want it to puff back up 3D. Just give it a little puff, and that's the second layer. Get all your glue strings out because they have a tendency to grab in places and make it look all funky. Okay, now take the next one, which is this one right here. You want to use this top one, you want it to be last that you're going to work with. So now you can see how we're just filling in the spaces to make this a little ball. Same thing on this side. And the distance between your ribbons with each layer is going to get a little bit bigger right there. Just because as we make the ball come upward, we don't want anything to be, you know, too far inward. You want it to remain like a little ball for the shell. Okay, now you take your last one. And do the same thing. All we did was just fill it in. You see how almost all of them are the exact same out here. It's starting to look like a little flower when it's mashed down. Okay, so there's the shell. Just puff it back out and it's a little ball for his shell. The glue strands removed. Okay, now for the legs. I've already made three of them. It's just a simple little, um, what's it called? An awareness fold. Okay, and this is a one and a half inch piece and you just do that awareness fold right there like that make that point. That's going to be his legs. So again, you just hold it upright, do that awareness fold, and put a little bit of glue back here for the legs. Okay? Very, very easy. And you do that with all four of them. I've already done it with those three. So now the legs are made. Shell is made. Now let's make his head. Or her head. Okay. I feel like I heat sealed that one good enough. There we go. Okay. This is where I use a pair of tweezers. Oh, glue strings. Projects in the floor. Always. Okay. So what you're going to want to do is just take it and fold it around and make a loop for his head. See, we're just making a loop around that way. Okay, so you just grab it back here and we're gonna put the glue back here and then you just roll it around and glue it down and that'll be his head. Okay, you can probably get glue on your tweezers but hot glue peels right off. So just put a little bit right there Grab it, 
and roll it around and make sure that you get it glued straight. You don't want it to be crooked like I just did. Push it over there. Get it glued straight. Use your tweezers. Pinch it down. And you can make his head however big you want. But it's just making a, a little roll on the end of that. Alright. Get the glue strings off, of course, so your project doesn't end up on the floor. Okay, now we assemble him. We just take his... Everybody is coming in my room. Every... So, anyway. Hopefully I can figure out a way to cut that part out. Anyway, here we go. We're back. We're going to put the... Um, put it together and assemble it. So, get all your glue strands away. Take your shell. And I always like to glue his head to the second layer down. Not the first layer because it looks cute wrapped over the side. So the second layer right there. Just take his head and glue it right up there beside the edge. Alright. Just put a little glue in there. Put his head on there. This is where tweezers come in handy too because oh, glue strings everywhere. Okay, so you can slide up underneath and really pinch it down so that you get a good glue stick on there. Alright. Now, you want his neck to be out like that. You don't want to glue it flat down. So just take and pull it back a little bit. That's why it's as long as it is. And just glue it right there even with those. Um, this band that wraps around right here, the outermost layer, just glue it, butt it right up to it right there. And the measurements usually come out just perfect for him to have his neck bent when you glue like this. Okay, just stick it down on there and pinch it down. Okay, and there's his neck and his head. I have a little bit extra material on this one than I did on the other one because I didn't roll his head fat enough. That's okay. You're not going to notice when he's put together. Okay, so now for the legs, you just take one each and you're going to put them on these four corner pieces right here. It always comes out so convenient when you make the ball. So, just put a little bit right there. And you want to slide it all the way up to where it touches. And pinch it in place. And there's one foot. There's his front feet. Now for the back feet. Same thing on these two corner pieces right here. The last one. You're almost finished. Okay. Put that in place right there. And there is your turtle with his head and his legs. Okay. 
Now, the tail, you take that scrap piece that matches and just cut it with some sharp scissors. Just make a long V. Make a point for his tail. And hold it with your scissors and be sure and heat seal it. Otherwise, his tail is just going to fray clean off. Okay. Now you glue that right there on the back. Obviously, where else would the tail go? And then just put his eyeballs on. Take your Google eyes. And these are seven millimeter sized Google eyes. I'm going to put the glue kind of off to the side of it because we are going to center it on this right here. Not going to center it, I mean. We're going to. The center of the eye. You want it to be overlapped just a touch over the edge of this ribbon right here. Because we got to fit both eyes on there. So they are going to not go on there flush. See how they hang over on the back. So there's one eye. The other eye on there straight. And there's a tiny turtle. You just put him on an alligator clip now, or on a headband, or a pin, or whatever you want to put him on, and you're finished. Thank y'all so much for watching. And he won't have. You should make this loop a little bit bigger than I did. You can see that one's head is a little bigger. I just made it kind of small on accident. I would have, if I was making this for a customer or for a friend or something, I would have did that piece over. But you got the, the point is to show y'all how to get it done. So that's how you make that. It would be a little bit less. Or if you made it small like that and you don't want this much of his neck, you could have just cut some of it off on the other end and then glued it under there. But either way, it's an adorable little turtle. Now my light pink one has a shocking pink friend. Thank y'all so much for watching and thank you for requesting that to my subscriber that requested this. And if y'all have any other requests for any ribbon sculptures that you might see on my Etsy site or that you might see online in general, just point me to it and I'll see if I can work out a tutorial for it. Thank y'all so much for watching. Y'all have a great day.